to be vice chancellor in this university even till the nazi visit ta bini khaina mausile gonan thangman be khunu tin gonai thau nuwa manana dai bitanga accused abai dai bitanga dai nigiri be mabre be nazi ko jenga bini pray baburu mamu sanani burai gen we are going to welcome with the wood friends this have visit and how can one then in front of such a corrupt person in front of the vice chair and how can be embarrassing much for the nazi team visit that you are visiting this university in front of a corrupt vice chancellor who is accused under charge of vigilance this is going to be a very shameful moment for this university dano khaina mochi le gonang thangman jengle Jenny, by Changna, no. I will be out for a night. I request on behalf of all the students' union, entire fraternity of Bodhgaya University, from teaching to non-teaching, and all the students of this university, that all the students do not want to affect, do not want to affect your career, your studies, and the higher form of this university. But we are going to be bound because vice chancellor Karat Rajdeep Singh is not removed yet. Until and unless Honorable Chancellor Shivaji, Honorable Governor of Assam, doesn't take a quick call again to remove Professor Lakshman Rajdeep Singh from this university, we are going to affect each and every functioning of this university. And therefore, today is an ultimatum, and. We are not going to allow not visit until and unless Professor Lakshman Rajdeep Singh is removed from this university. And therefore, I appeal to all the students. You know, in every colleges, in every universities, there is a not visit, which is going to grade us. Which institution is going to grade us? We may be graded A, A plus, B plus, B. It doesn't matter when we get this grade. But it matters when we have a good vice chancellor in this university after moving Professor Lakshman Rajdeep Singh. That is our concern, and therefore we will appeal, if necessary, we are going to write to the University Grant Commission. We are going to write to the North Perth team visit that it never should not come to Bodhgaya University until and unless there is a new VC appointed in this university, because. We don't want to go back to that embarrassing moment. We want this university to accelerate in academics. We want this university to flourish for all our benefit of the students and the communities here. And therefore, my dear friends, this is not a moment to shy away. This is not a moment to sit idle. This is not a moment to look back. This is a moment to go forward, and we want justice. And until and unless this justice is achieved, we are not going to keep silent. Some people are thinking that Bodo Students Union is sometimes playing a gimmick. Remember, we have a long history of Bodo and movement, and movement in this one particular university is not that hard to move here in. We have education. Long back, from 1987 to 1993, from 1996 to 2003, and from 2010 to 2020, we have all these agitations, and therefore we have more than 5,000 martyrs who have sacrificed for the cause of Bodoland, for the cause of such a prestigious institution that is Bodoland University, and therefore. We are not going to shy away. All but a student union is not going to leave away this issue. We are going to enter this campus. Ultimately, after two three days, if we are not responded by honourable chancellor of this university, because we are not going to leave the sacrifice of our martyrs in vain. We are not the ones to discriminate our martyrs. And we will not allow Professor Lakshman Rajdeep Singh to discriminate this university, which is a cause of so many martyrs 
that we have sacrificed. Therefore, I appeal to the entire student fraternities that in Assam, we have many other universities where there were cases of corruption with the vice chancellors, with many other officials of the universities who are not left spared, who are not left behind. They have also gone to the system of investigation. They have also left arbitrarily they resigned from the vice chancellorship. But today, this is the most embarrassing moment that after being accused in a corrupt case, that also is very ashamed that Odolan University has such a vice chancellor who has started nepotism in this university, who has started his own process of arbitrary administrative processes, thereby he has been accused of corrupt practice in utilization of funds. So that is not acceptable. On the other hand, he has already been mentioned in the case that he has given illegal admission to one scholar under him. It is very clear, my dear students fraternity, each and every one has to go through a process for getting admission in the PhD of this university. And now, we know after that investigation has proven that he has one scholar that is also a lady scholar who has been admitted arbitrarily by Professor Laisham Laddu Singh under his supervision. Because his VC has done that. And we know that that scholar girl has been staying in the campus, nowhere in the hostel, but in the quarter of Vice Chancellor Professor Laisham Laddu Singh. This is our shame. We are ashamed of that. And we are ashamed to know that after fraudulently being every process in a fraud way, by cheating and by way of his own arbitrary power, that is not fair for Bodhola University. Therefore, we appeal that entire student fraternity and the university fraternities will understand this and take us up this issue in the travel times that we are going to face in few days to come in this university. The black badge today in our face signifies that we are no more going to shout slogans. This is an